welcome to part one of packing for our world cruise. <laughs> I'm so excited, I can't believe today I'm finally putting things in a suitcase and I'm gonna take you along for the whole journey. If you're new around here, hi, my name's Brogan. I make home lifestyle and travel vlogs and I would love it if you subscribe so you don't miss this incredible experience and trip of a lifetime that we are about to embark on. This video is also very kindly sponsored by Dermatica today, but more on them in a bit. I'm gonna break down all the different categories, including beauty and entertainment, wedding stuff, storage solutions. I've got it all behind me, as you can see. It's a lot of stuff. But I will premise this by saying I am an overpacker. I like to have all my home comforts and I have thought carefully about everything and why I'm packing it. I can justify everything as long as it's in the weight allowance and fits in the case. <laughs> so that's what we're doing today. I haven't actually checked the weight. So we're gonna see it maybe a case of like, these are all the things I wanna bring. We may be eliminating or moving things around, but there is a bit of a backstory to this first suitcase and why we're packing it this way. But if you have stumbled across this video, make sure you go and watch our recent sort of chit chats and wedding Q and A. I've done a whole video doing an overview of what we're doing, where we're going. The trip itself is 99 days, so at least from Southampton and goes all the way back to Southampton on board p and Cruises Arcadia and we are joining just over halfway in New Zealand so we're doing a week in New Zealand first and then we're going to be on the actual ship for two whole months we're having our wedding day on board a legal ceremony that the captain's doing we're going to be on our honeymoon and it's my birthday we didn't want to have to compromise on having the things that bring us joy and make us feel good and I wanted to be able to send stuff onto the ship that I knew I wasn't gonna need between <laughs> the ship leaving at the beginning of January and us getting on board middle of February. There are two ways that you can send a suitcase onto the ship. One is using a company called the Baggage Handling Company, I believe, that p and Cruises work with, and they come and pick your case up from your house and take it to the ship. Or the second way is you deliver it yourself, which is what we're doing. We don't live far from Southampton, we live in Bournemouth, so it's not a massive drive for us. Basically going to the ship the day before, and I'm gonna take you along in this vlog and show you, and it will keep the case in a storage room, and then they'll move it to our cabin when we get on. You can send one per person, so we were entitled to I have two but I've just chosen to do one it's 23 kilograms maximum weight and in terms of the suitcases I basically have a small cabin size a medium and a large from away suitcases and Benji has the same and they're the ones that are going to go with us to New Zealand the suitcase that I've chosen to send onto the ship is this Roxy one which any of you that are OG you've been around for a long time you were here through my Trek America days this case came with me on many epic adventures but I like the fact that it's soft this is the case it's very 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 old I think I paid like 50 pound for it or something in the sale it was crazy it was so cheap and it's not a case that I actively use anymore yeah as you can see it's just this massive Roxy soft hold well actually it's soft on the top and then it's got like a hard base. So we're going to start with beauty and I've had to think long and hard about which products I've really loved over the last year. Products that make me feel good, that give me confidence, things that are perfect for my hair, skin, makeup and being realistic on what I need and how much of it I will need that I might not be able to get hold of when I'm actually away. So one of the things that is an absolute no-brainer for me is my SPF and my Dermatica treatment. My personalised formula that I have been absolutely loving. I have been a loyal customer as well as working with them for almost a year now. When I went to get my eyebrows microbladed recently and we had before and after pictures, I actually couldn't stop looking at my skin as well. You can see in these pictures specifically that the fine lines on my forehead, the texture, the redness, my skin is smoother and just feels and looks more glowy and I'm so much more confident. It comes in a box like this that's delivered straight to your door. It's designed to help with anti-aging concerns, boost your skin glow, reduce breakouts and acne, hyperpigmentation, rosacea and melasma, and the bottle lasts 28 days. So obviously I need to make sure I have at least two. When you sign up to be with Dermatica, their personalized treatments are tailored exactly to you and what your skin needs. And their dermatology team will help support you. You can provide before pictures and look at the after. They can give you 
consultations. But it's not just my personalized formula I'm gonna be packing extra of. I also have their incredible SPF. They developed this new SPF 50 photo damage defense sunscreen with their dermatology experts to work alongside any routine with active ingredients like mine. It's lightweight, fragrance free, and offers a broad spectrum designed to protect your skin from harmful UVA and UVB rays. It's got a weightless formula that absorbs nice and quickly. It's streak free and leaves no white residue behind on any skin types and tones. So it sits well under makeup as well and just feels so nice on my skin. It prevents dark spots and shields your skin from photo aging, pigmentation and sun damage, which is so important. It's formulated with hydrating glycerin, panthenol and vitamin E and protects against fine lines and wrinkles. So it really is the perfect SPF. I feel like with a new year, we're all thinking about those new routines and new ways that we can build our confidence and you can see results within six weeks of using Dermatica and should be using SPF every day. So this is why I recommend them so much and really do genuinely love them. Otherwise I wouldn't be packing them in my case for two months, <laughs> let me tell you. So if you'd like to start your skincare journey, you can use my code BROGAN. That will give you your first treatment for only £2.90 and 10% off your second month, which is usually £24.99. So I'll have that link below and the code and info for you. But let's carry on with SPF and other beauty products that I'm gonna be packing. So we've got our face SPF covered. We need our main SPF that goes on our body and we love Sun Bum. I have bought this so many times and it doesn't last exceptionally well, which is why I have stocked up. They do actually sell this on the ship, worst case scenario, but I just figured as we've got so many bottles where I've been getting them in the sale or when we went to Target, I'm gonna take them all. I think I'll take one full one for New Zealand, six bottles of Vector 50 SPF. I've just popped our Dermatica in the side there too, so that's now ready to go. The next item is my contact lenses, and I've replicated the exact setup I have in my bathroom here at home. This is from Primark, and weirdly, my contacts fit perfectly when I get a stash of them, so each section is 30 contacts. So I have enough to basically last me the whole trip in here and then I'll have a bunch of spares that I'll pack with me to New Zealand so this is perfect because it's not too bulky yes it's like a weight to it because there's obviously the plastic but I think this is the best way for me to have them and store them in the cabin as well I just think this is perfect so I bought an extra one of these from Primark and I'll utilize it when I get home but that's my contacts. Shampoo and conditioner. I use Function of Beauty. I have done for almost four years now. And I have a personalized formula because I have some allergies. I'm allergic to some fragrances. So Benji, we're gonna get him his own shampoo when we get to New Zealand. Speaking of hair care, I have also got my Imbue curly hair products. Curl conditioning leave-in spray from Imbue. And this is the matching uh, cream gel. And this is what I use on my curly hair. Next, I've started to create create a little random miscellaneous pouch here of stuff so I'm going to run through it. I've got a few Tropic Bamboo face cloths. These are my cleansing cloths that I use to take my makeup off. My Wild Deodorant. I absolutely love this and I have a few different refills so I'm going to have one in my hand luggage because we're traveling for two days so I'm definitely gonna need deodorant and then I'll take this as spare but I went for the fresh cotton and sea salt and the ocean mist scents the minute that I tried these I knew immediately that I wanted them for the trip obviously we're going on a cruise of course I want sea salt and ocean mist so yeah I've got one of these each and I've got one inside the Little Mermaid case that I have somewhere. Spare toothpaste, this is something we can buy but Benj and I really like this one, it's from Amazon, it's called Aloe Dent and so I thought I'd just pack a spare one. Two months, you know, we're gonna go through it. I think this would probably last us, no, would it last us? I don't know, we're gonna have, again, one we take and then this will be spare. Aloe vera gel, hopefully won't need that but I have condensed some into a small pot for New Zealand. Jungle formula, this is the best for bug spray. I've got my razor and this is the one I've been using for years and I bought a brand new one which excites me so much. It's the Intuition, I think it might be Wilkinson Sword but it's got three heads in a pack here. I don't know, I don't think I'm gonna necessarily need three but I'm just gonna take it all anyway. Some face mask and a foot mask. These are my favorite face masks, the rhodial ones. And I've got a foot mask, uh, which is a coconut oil one from Superdrug. Lensip, so random, but 
if either of us get a cold, this is the one thing that seems to cure us both. I've got a baby shampoo. This is to wash my makeup brushes. But now I'm thinking about it, I need like a travel size little silicon pad that I normally scrub the brushes on. I can just use my hands to be honest, but I need this to wash my makeup brushes. A couple of extra anti-backs. We're gonna need a lot of these, especially going around the ship. We picked these up in Bath and Body Works when we were in LA recently. So got two extras. We'll have some in our hand luggage as well. And the last thing in here is actually a tiny little bubble bath basically that my friend got me for Christmas. And I thought this was perfect size because we do have a bath. I also love that they recently added the turquoise top to the personalized formula. So I've got this one ready to go inside my beauty case. Next category is wedding day and there are a few random things but most of the wedding stuff I'm gonna have in my hand luggage so you'll see that in part two I think of the packing video series here but the first thing I have in an Ikea bag is some bunting for our wedding day and my 30th birthday. I have shown a lot of these things already in our wedding haul that I did so I won't go through them in detail but I have a cake topper says Mr and Mrs Lever. I have a six stories wife jumper which again I don't want to bother wearing until after the wedding so I know I don't need to pack that with the rest of my clothes. I also have one of these Primark cotton room sachet things which smells amazing which I'm going to put in the case and amongst the clothing because it's going to be sat in there for a month. I've got a wifey robe also from Six Stories so again this is going to be my dressing gown that I want to wear on the wedding day and throughout the cruise. Something else I already showed but this is a flower press so that I can preserve my bouquet. I need to learn how to use it properly but I don't know whether to take it out the packaging and just have it like this but then it does have some of the instructions underneath or I could take a picture of that actually. A bit random but I have a white bow that I thought could look cute in my hair. We have our fragrances for our wedding day which I've shown recently but they're both from Penn Halligans. Mine came in a box so I'm going to keep it like this but Benji's didn't so we're just using a little pouch and I've wrapped it up in tissue. The next section I've called storage solutions. Obviously if you go on a cruise for a week or two you don't need to think about how you organize your cabin because you're gonna have plenty of storage, wardrobe space, etc. But two months on board, I've done enough cruises now to know that keeping the cabin organized with two adults who are sometimes a little lazy and chuck stuff everywhere is gonna be a mission and I wanna make sure it feels clean and organized as much as I can to the best of my ability and I'm gonna use some little hacks that I have found along the way. Some of this is maybe excessive, like it's just a little, whatever anyway in the bathroom under the sinks there is a massive shelf which is perfect for these from ikea they are little baskets which i'm going to organize beauty stuff sun cream anything like that that i can have in these storage things so i'm going to keep this wrap like this obviously these are foldable ikea boxes so we want those i also have some white ones which i've taken out the packaging for some reason oh i think it's because we took these that was it we took these on our mediterranean cruise to see how we got on with them um but they are single dividers and these are perfect for socks and pants and we have bigger versions so we can use these for our clothes and i mean you know what these look like from ikea the storage bins of different sizes and we have one each these are also from ikea these little bags we use these for our med crews and they look very miscellaneous. They're the kind of things that you're like, what are you meant to fit in there? But I'm telling you, we use them so much for things like Benji's caps, like his hats. This is very random, but I have two Ikea bags. The reason being, when we come back to Southampton, I know we're probably going to have bought lots of merch, have lots of ex excess stuff. And if we can't fit it all back in the case easily, or we just buy something bulky like a coat or an ornament, I don't know, then I've got Ikea bags to help us pack when we get back. Does that make sense? These are meant for that. They're so flat and thin and light that it would be just foolish of me not to take them. I know that we can ask for extra hangers, but on other trips, the hangers have not been fantastic. So I want to bring more of our own. And I've been trying to find some good plastic ones that are sturdy enough that they don't snap, but also not too heavy. And I have this pack from Primark that were £2.80. And these I got from, I think TK Maxx, but they're really great because they've got rubber on them. These hangers we bought, when we were on our med cruise we bought them in a shop was it like mini so and I just thought this would be very handy it folds out like this for hanging I don't know pants socks swimwear 
you know, it's just quite good for drying stuff, isn't it? And these ones are the hangers where you can have loads of hangers in one. So if the wardrobe space is tight, because Benji hangs all his t-shirts, I have a lot of dresses, then yeah, this can go, it slides, it goes like that, and it can be a normal hanger, or it goes up like that, and then you hang the hangers like so. I'm taking this foldable plastic thing, you know, the ones that like it folds out like so, because I want to store and organize my shoes and I just think it's gonna be so good to have a place because otherwise they'll be all over the cabin floor everywhere. I have thought about loads of solutions for shoes but I think this will be best. So then I thought okay what I'll do is I'll get a couple of smaller ones as well which could be really good for storing my camera equipment and miscellaneous things like this and then when I ordered them on Amazon they were really tiny so I wasn't sure whether to send them back but Ben said that actually I mean they look they are tiny. Um, he said that they could be quite handy for things like when we're traveling I have lots of leads, memory cards so so, and my makeup in the drawers. I am actually going to keep them. I don't know if I'll end up using them, but I feel like that, yeah, they could be handy. I'm going to vlog the whole cabin, don't you worry, so you'll see all of this in action. <laughs> For this next section, I've called it cruise hacks because these are the things that I know are going to be so handy and I'm feeling very smug about it. This is just from cruise experience. So, First of all, magnetic hooks. We have been using these on all of our cruises for the last few years and they've been a game changer. We love these so much, they are just amazing. I think everyone should have them for every cruise holiday. So we have a variety of sizes. These tiny little ones are great for information and light things and then these ones are a little bit more durable, they're sturdier, they hold more weight. I think some of you will say this is completely ridiculous but I bought this from Amazon. It's a calendar with little sticky notes, which I thought would be handy for taking notes, writing notes to each other. But mostly I wanna use it for the calendar and I actually ripped out the rest of the dates and just kept in February, March and April. I'm also gonna add in all of our black tie or celebration nights, etc. So this is really great information. We bought this in the same shop we bought these like hanger things when we were on our med cruise, uh, but we saw it and thought that's gonna be handy. It's got little anchors on it too, which is adorable, but when we've got things like sunglasses or board games or anything like that, we were gonna buy one of those shoe organizers that you can have on the back of doors, but Benj and I both feel like they're quite bulky and quite ugly so we'd rather have the boxes that we can store inside the wardrobe or under the bed or under the sink this is the only thing that's kind of similar but i just thought it'd be so handy for bits and bobs so yeah we're just gonna use a magnetic hook for that we have pegs and a washing line not 100 sure if we're allowed a washing line but benj and i both figured that we're probably gonna need one for drying our clothes and these pegs we got from ikea they look a bit odd because they've got this um, string but it means you can basically add them anywhere the chairs that you have on the balcony sometimes we use them like that so if we're not allowed a washing line then we'll just use the pegs and create our own line with whatever we've got to work with <laughs> Hopefully that makes sense. Speaking of washing, we have these pop-up laundry baskets. I bought these from B&M. They were super cheap and as you can imagine, they pop up. We did take them with us on our two week cruise. We didn't necessarily need to do washing, but we did and actually it was so handy. I also have washing stuff. So we're gonna be using these magic leaves because they are much better than contending with pods that could potentially break or burst anywhere. And we've been using these at home and actually quite like them. I also have color catcher so this is a pack of 30 I can't imagine us doing more than 30 washes and I also have a mini bottle of the Dr Beckman stain devils I am very clumsy and I spill food down me all the time <laughs> So I thought that would be quite handy, just in case, you never know. This is like the junk drawer of doom, but also so essential. So we have in this box right now, straws. We take these everywhere with us. In fact, we use these all the time at home as well. These are from Target, but these rubber, like silicon straws are amazing. We've got bingo dabbers because we've been on board before and used them so got those. We have highlighters to highlight the Horizon newsletter every day with what we want to do. I've got a face mask just in case. I need to pack one for Benj as well. In the booking section of our website it does say to bring one but yeah have that. Hopefully not going to use it. I've got a bunch of sandwich bags. I also have a reusable sandwich bag that I need to find um, but these are perfect for wet swimwear, 
snacks and they're from Ikea and I just took four of each different size. So there's like three or four different sizes and I just rolled them up with a hairband. <laughs> I've got a little mini washing up liquid, which I have no idea where I got this from. It's one of those things that I've sort of hoarded in our like camping section when we do staycations and I wanna wash our water bottles with this. Plastic, fork, spoon and knife for when we're on land or you know when we go to Disney yeah we always take these traveling I've got a few of these sachets that I got when Benji was in the hospital and they are orange and pineapple but you mix them with water like a squash in little sachets we are gonna have we've got downstairs one of the Robinson's little packet ones that you squeeze in we're gonna have one of those as well and lastly a load of random clips so clips for um, packets of crisps or any snacks we open. I have a different version. This also is a little clippy peg if we want to magnet that to the wall and clip anything to it. And a carabiner I just thought could be handy for clipping a water bottle to a bag. We are nearly there. You can see there's only a few things left on the bed. So this next section, I've just put accessories. We are going to Hong Kong Disney, as I said. So I want to have my pins for pin trading. I'll be annoyed with myself if they have pin boards and I don't bring my pins. Let me know if you've been to Hong Kong Disney, do they do pin trading there? If they don't, then I'll just eliminate this. I also have my mini ears, which I obviously have the, the veil ones because I would have just got married. So I thought I'm definitely wearing those. I have a lot of bags, but one bag that I definitely won't be needing or using immediately is this wifey one, which I just thought would be perfect perfect for evenings it goes with a lot of outfits and it's just stinking cute okay so this was from boohoo i mentioned it's my birthday so i have a 30th birthday badge it's a sea day and we would have been at sea for a few days when it comes to my birthday and i thought this just might make it feel a little bit i don't know nice i have a pack of thank you cards for very obvious reasons but this is to give to anyone that does anything for us cabin um steward host our photographer for our wedding day any staff or teams that have uh, particularly gone out of the way and looked after us i thought it'd be nice it means we can put a little tip inside as well the next sections have kind of blurred together they're a bit miscellaneous they're kind of home comforts this is kind of beachy towel stuff so i've got a bikini bag but in here I actually keep our beach towels these are an essential on a cruise trip because they clip to your sun lounger and obviously if you're at sea and it's windy then you're going to want these but also it's easy to recognize which bed is yours so always pack those on a cruise i've got some crocs you may have seen these behind me for most of this video but these i got from disney they are white brand new i thought they'd be perfect for the trip i've been waiting to wear them i knew i wanted a pair of crocs on the trip i'm not going to need them between now and then so yeah they can go straight in the case and they're light and they're quite bulky so i don't want them taking up space in my main luggage now i've got towels so i've got a couple of microfiber hair towels these are from a brand called kitsch i love them so much i actually have a silk pillowcase from them as well i have this one on my bed right now too it's amazing but we'll get onto pillows in a second but just as a brand kitsch are fantastic and they sell these hair towels which i use to dry my hair so i thought i have two i'll take them out of this packaging just to make it i can make them smaller than this but i just want to show you what the boxes look like so i bought those and then i have our beach towels i have put them in the pack and go suction vacuum bags <laughs> they fit perfectly in this size but benj and i have got a beach towel each we we can get towels on board and they have them by the pool it's just a bit nicer having your own sometimes especially having ones on the on the balcony or being able to tell which uh, sun lounge is yours or if we go to the beach one day we much prefer to have our own this next item i know some of you are going to be like broken <laughs> i've also vacuum packed my pillow i yeah i can't i just can't go two months without my memory foam calling pillow this may be the most ridiculous thing but i promise you i really need this like i really will feel more at home and comfortable of course i can live without it and i can sleep with the pillows that they provide they have beautiful quality pillows and duvet and linen so i'm not worried about that it's just that whenever i travel without this my neck just doesn't love a soft pillow and i have a bad back as it is so i really I said to Benj if there's only one thing that goes in this case I really want it to be my pillow and so my mum said you may as well vacuum pack it because it's just memory foam so it'll expand again so yeah I've tried to get it as flat as I could but I could probably do a better job than that really because there's still 
probably some air to go out of that. And I obviously have the pillowcase too, which I wish I'd put inside there now because then it would have kept it nice. Maybe I will slot this inside and re-vacuum pack it. Two more miscellaneous things and then we've got our final little bits. I've got an umbrella, which I bought from Amazon because this is one that is good for using in the sun as well. Um, to protects against like UV rays. So if it's really hot in Asia, I can use it. Um, as both for the sun or obviously the rain and then this I got from Etsy it's a little mini sewing kit again if any of our clothes break would rather be able to fix them if they have holes in or there's any emergency situations then I've got a little mini sewing kit I'm packing a hair dryer but I'm also going to pack my Dyson air wrap which obviously can dry my hair but I much prefer a proper hair dryer when I do my hair straight and I just know I'm going to want it extension blocks are kind of a bit of a grey area we have always taken these on board and never had issues but there are a few rules around what you can and can't take arcade was originally built for a US market I believe and so has a lot of US plugs and it has European plugs and all sorts so I have a UK to USA adapter the last thing we have are some board games so we've gone for a bit of a variety we love games so much but we've tried to think about ones that are good as two players that aren't too bulky that we really love or we can adapt to play with other people so we've got travel scrabble which we've taken out of the back packaging out of the box and put in a sandwich bag which was amazing because it fit perfectly in this Ikea bag we have Yahtzee which again we could probably condense down but um, this is a, a dice game that Benji introduced me to and we really like. We have a pack of cards. These are Bicycle. They're a lovely brand, but they are Mickey Mouse ones. So normal cards. We've got Uno, a classic. Everyone can play and learn that easily. And then we have two from Big Potato Games. One is Dino Dump, which we've used an old card game and taken that out to replace it for Go Dino Dump because this comes in quite a chunky box. And the last one we have is Her Mentality, which again, we can't do two players but we figured this would be perfect if we make friends um, you can do up to 20 players so you never know if we're in a big group those C days I just thought it could be a good one it's one of our all-time favorite um, games and we play this at Christmas and love it yes it's it's a lot of stuff I've told you it's a lot of stuff I've warned you now we're going to try and pack it and we're going to see how much it weighs so I'm going to try and pack as much of it as possible and then we can always eliminate a thing or two I think logically we want to utilize flat stuff in this section here and these things can go down the side okay let's do this again let's hope that stays like that I want to go with things that are flat next I obviously need to make sure the cake topper doesn't get squished maybe the cake topper goes inside here because that's going to protect it a bit better isn't it kind of works i'm still deciding if i want to take this out of the box does it fit down there a bit better we're going to learn how to flower press guys little bags can fill that hole in there next thing i'm going to do is take the microfiber towels out of the packaging and put them amongst the beach towels that just makes so much sense to me when i'm looking for stuff <laughs> right have you got a prediction 27 27 i'm gonna say 23.6 27 and a half. I was right. I haven't even put everything in. I forgot this little section here. Obviously, whatever doesn't go in this case is gonna have to go in the other cases unless we yeah. start being picky on like, definitely not that, definitely but, this. Yeah, or in the other case, it's only gonna be clothes and shoes really, isn't it? And like bits and bobs. This is it's stuff, got the majority of it? our stuff, yeah. yeah. It's the toiletries I think will be quite heavy. I'm filming this a few weeks before we put it on the ship. So I'm gonna flash forward to us going onto the ship. So let me show you what that was like. We have just arrived down at the cruise terminal it's very quiet because it's the day before we've got our one singular case this is the departures area where they're a few people drop off then. yeah because people will be joining in different countries won't they like sydney and hong kong so yeah we're gonna we're gonna do it the suitcase is just going through security so we're just waiting for the okay to say it's good fingers crossed we just dropped off the case. It feels real now. It does feel real. That was so easy. In and out, 10 minutes? Not even that. They literally checked the paperwork, went and scanned the case, and mm -hmm. somebody came out a few minutes later and said, all good, thank all you. Good. Bye. And we said, oh, we're so excited. We're getting married on board. <laughs> it was 
<laughs> but it's official. We've now told every single person. Everyone we've ever met. Yeah. we've ever met knows yeah. that. Yeah, we're so excited. They were all so lovely. Everyone that works in the cruise terminal is so sweet and I think it's such a buzz, isn't around there? Around happy people, they're all like really cheerful mm. as well, aren't they? And so. there were quite a lot of cases. Quite a few yeah. people coming and going. That is that. That's how we did the first case. So we're going to do part two and three, which will be the hand luggage and then everything else, which is crazy. I don't want to start packing. <laughs> we're now back home and I'm going to get started on the next suitcases. So if you want to see what else we end up packing in hand luggage and in the rest of our main cases, then make sure you subscribe for part two and three. And of course, all the cruise vlogs that are coming. It feels so good to get that case on today. And in case you were curious, I ended up taking out the beach towels, some of the beauty stuff and some of the magnets because they weighed the most. And then everything else, I just felt like I wanted it, but didn't necessarily need it right now. Whereas the beach towels could be handy in New Zealand. So I decided on keeping those sort of things around but at the end of the day I'm just going to distribute them amongst the other suitcases that we have so I think I did a pretty good job I'm very pleased that nothing was flagged that we could bring it all on and I'm very excited now that we've done that first case it definitely is starting to feel very real but thank you so much for watching this I hope you've enjoyed it thank you so much to Damasca for sponsoring like I said I'll leave that discount and link below for you in case you want to start your skincare journey or try some of their skincare products and get the SPF etc I really would love to hear what you think so leave your messages below if you have tried them or you're interested and of course thank you for supporting us and being so kind and excited ahead of this trip I can't believe it's coming around so fast now but we are nearly there only a few weeks to go when you see this video so we're, we're getting very close but have a lovely rest of your day thanks so much for watching and I'll see you again in the next ones bye